Hello everyone, this is the sixth part of the Counter Strike 1.6 dedicated server tutorial. In the previous two parts, I explained how to open ports for a Counter Strike server. In the first part, I told you how to open ports through the router configuration page. And in the second part, I told you how to open the ports without the router configuration page, which should work universally on all routers. In this tutorial, I will be explaining you how to make your server both non-steam and steam compatible. First of all, what is steam and what is non-steam? Steam is something legal and non-steam is something illegal. Steam is a free Valve software which is used to buy, download, update and play the games. And Counter Strike is a paid game. So you have to buy it. And if you have bought the game, then you are a steamer. And if you have downloaded the cracked game from torrents or any other site for free, then you are a non-steamer. And this is something illegal. Our server currently supports only Steam clients. And in this tutorial, I will teach you how to make it compatible both with non-steam and steam. Although I wouldn't recommend you to get a non-steam game or make it a non-steam server, I would recommend you to buy the game and just play on the steam because it is illegal. But just for education purpose, I will be telling you how to make your server non-steam compatible. So let's get started. First of all, we are going to open our web browser. In the search box, we are going to type meta mod m e t a m o d. Hit enter. Now we are going to open the site metamod.org and in the downloads, we are going to download Windows binary. Now I am going to extract the zip in my desktop. Next thing I am going to do is open my steam cmd directory. Go to hlds, cs strike and here create a new folder and name it as add-ons a double d o n s open the add-ons folder we have just created here create a new folder and name it as metamod m e t a m o d hit enter in the metamod folder copy the metamod.dll we have just downloaded and paste it. Now go back to your CS strike directory. Here open a file libis.cam with a notepad. Go to open with and select notepad. Now in the last line type game dll space apostrophe double apostrophe add-ons a double t o n s backslash meta mod m e t a m o d backslash meta mod dot d l l and close the apostrophe now save the file go to file save and close it so this was the meta mod installation and this part was not illegal MetaMod is a Half-Life plugin or DLL manager which allows you to unload or load plugins specifically designed for Half-Life or Counter-Strike. And installing MetaMod is not illegal. The illegal part starts here. We are gonna install DPRoto. DPRoto is a MetaMod plugin which should allow your server to be compatible with both non-Steam and Steam clients. And we are gonna install it. So to install dproto, again open your browser. In the address bar or the search box, type dproto. Dproto. Hit enter. Open the cs.rin.ru site. 
and download the latest version by selecting the first attachment. Open the zip and I am going to extract it to my desktop. Now what you need to do is go to the add-ons directory which you have just created. Here create a new folder and name it as dproto, dproto, -O. hit enter, open the dproto folder and here copy the dproto plugin which you have just downloaded. Go to bin, windows and copy the dproto.dll in your just created dproto folder. Go back to the csstrike directory, here from the downloaded dproto folder, navigate back to the root directory and copy the dproto.cfg in your csstrike directory. Now what you need to do is copy plugins.ini which I have provided in my video description. The link must be in the video description so you can download the plugins.ini from there. Copy the file and in your csstrike folder of steam cmd go to add-ons and in the metamod directory paste the file plugins.ini. Now this completes the dproto installation part and now your server is both non-steam and steam compatible and now I am gonna launch it from the hlds.exe shortcut. Here you can check whether dproto is running successfully or not by typing meta meta space list list hit enter here you can see dproto underscore ef statistic as run which shows the dproto plugin is successfully installed and is running now you can check whether your server is non steam and steam compatible by visiting css city again Go to cssity.info and go to whatismyip.com Copy the IP and go to your cssity page In the Sumbit server type your IP is to port which is 27019 Game type select as counter strike 1.6 version 48 Captcha as PYC8 Hit enter. It says try again, I will try again. Type IP is to port. In type counter save version 1.6 HTPN. Bingo! This time it connected to my server. It says server reply blah 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 ok server accepted me. So this time CSS city got connected with our server which means our server is now non-steam compatible. We can also check for older protocols counter strike 1.6 NSD which is also made compatible by dproto. So it will also connect. So it also connected to my server. So our server is now non-steam compatible. A few things I would like to show in our server is that the build engine of our server is the latest one which is 6153 for now and our server got connected to steam server successfully which means that our server will appear both in the internet list of steam as well as non-steam games which is a very plus point of our server and no other tutorial tells you how to make such a latest build server which would appear on every internet list. So this is a plus point of watching my tutorial. And this ends my tutorial. In my next tutorial I will teach you how to connect or play in your server and use admin commands through the archon password. This will be my final 
and the last tutorial so do watch the tutorial and stay tuned.